going to try and straighten out this ring here. And uh, the way that I can think of doing it is just hitting it between a couple of bits of wood really. This one doesn't show but I want it to be nice and flat anyway. This is the part which holds on the uh, the ceramic dial. <clears throat> I don't um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just looking for high spots and flattening them down really. So there's no there's no technique that I can narrate to you on this one. I think that's going to have to do for now. And if I have to manipulate it any further when it comes to fitting the dial, I'll take a look at it then. So now the most important part of this job, so the bit that's going to be the hardest for me because I've really got no idea what I'm doing is to try and repair the enamel where it's broken there and there. Now, um, for, for no apparent reason, some while ago I bought this stuff. There's no marking on it. Um, and what this stuff is, is um, enamel paint or enamel paste. I've got it from Cousins. Um, it's just when I was ordering a few bits and pieces, I thought, oh, that might come in handy one day, even if it's to repair a broken sink. The thing is, there's no instructions on how to use it other than it says use a hot knife to pick it up with and put it on with. But it doesn't give you any advice on how to finish the job or whatever. So um, what I've done is I've got my little homemade bunsen burner I was going to use a scalpel and see if I could do that's just an experiment for now anyway but get it right brilliant but Just filling it, really. And that, that's all I can think that you would do with something like this. I think for me at this point, as long as it's white and not, you know, like that copper colour that's underneath it, it's going to look better than what it is. But it's a shame there's no sort of tutorials on this stuff. Just bloody lifting. Probably doing something wrong. So now I'm sort of resorting to melting it on the scalpel and then try 
kind of flood it in there. That sort of almost seems like a good idea. I don't know what this is made out of. This almost feels like it's wax like, but it's much harder than wax when it goes off. for me making a mess of this That is looking already better than what it was. So now, how good can I get it? This is just entirely by guesswork and me just mucking about here. But if any of you watching know um what the right and wrong way is with this stuff please please let me know maybe i could shave you off or something it's actually getting there <clears throat> Um, so it would have been nice to have some sort of instruction for this stuff. Isn't it funny that people would just sell you something with no, especially something as uh, unique as this, which uh, is sold as an, an enamel dial repair paste, but. All right, well, I need to bloody use it. That's to make it more interesting for people like me. Just would be too easy if they had instructions, maybe. Like testing us out. Back to this one, it's um, it is almost wax like. Just a little bit harder than wax. Not as hard as I initially thought. It, 
I thought it was sort of going to go off and like some sort of a resin toughness but no I'm actually quite pleased with that I reckon um, if I had the ink to fill in the rest of that new mall it'd be hardly noticeable I just want to try with an old credit card because I can contour it to the shape of the dial Now it needs a little bit more filling on this top one and I, I think it's acceptable. I just wanted to show you this. This is something that which unfortunately I can't film myself doing because I'm doing it underneath the microscope. Um, so you can see where I filled in this area um, now I'm trying to extend the numerals and uh, well finish them off really so what I've used for that is a can of satin black paint sprayed it into the cap I'm using a pin vise holder yeah. And in the pin vise holder, I've gone and cut a uh, strand from my uh, garden broom and put it in there. And that's uh, now my paintbrush. As I say, I'm doing this underneath the microscope now. And I've managed to extend it. So I've just to show you what I've done so far is I've extended it from there and brought it up to there. And I'm going to do the same with these ones as well. And then I've got to try and get a fine line going across up there. Like these ones I've got there. Um, there's some bits here that I can't do where, where it's fractured. And there's dirt in those fractures. I, I can't really do much with that. Although I could try touching it up with a, in a bit of white paint or something. But... For now, um, it's looking like I, I might make this look pretty acceptable. Well, I've finished the dial. You can't even see where I've fixed it. It really looks good. You just have to trust me about that. That I'm only joking. I've done it and um, it's, it's pretty good. Well, it's, it's not perfect. Right, there's the, that's the worst one there. There's so many little cracks in that area that it's hard to make it look really tidy. On the other hand, this one here turned out really well. You have to look for that one, even with um, me looking at it in real life, not on a camera. It's something you've got to be aware that's there to actually see that it's been damaged. So, overall, well, where, where are we? Oh, see, I can't remember where all the damages were on there. There you go. So, two damages um, one there and one there. I 
I could let that go now. I'm not going to spend any more time on that because I'll never get it perfect. But it will look love, quite nice, um, lovely once it's in the clock and the clock, rest of the clock has been restored. That won't be the only focal point on the clock now.